What's up guys, it's Captain Rex Production 72 and welcome to my review of 75262 Imperial Dropship 20th Anniversary Edition So, this is the only one of the 20th Anniversary Edition sets that I own I don't know if I'm interested in getting any of the other ones so far I am briefly going back and forth in my mind on getting the Pod Racer, but that's about it So, yeah, it's one of the first 20th Anniversary set review I have on here it's fun, so I'm getting back into the swing of doing reviews every Tuesday. Last Tuesday, I done the Hoff Echo Base, I think it's called, or Hoff e Hoff Rebel Base. I don't know. It's that set from two thousand nine with the gun turret and stuff. But yeah. Anyway, so twenty pounds for a battle pack is a bit. Well, it's outrageous considering um, if you go back ten years ago, you could get a Clone Walker battle pack for ten pounds. So yeah, um. Obviously, the inclusion of the, the 20th Anniversary Edition minifig ups the price a little. So I think this would have been between 12 and £13 pounds by itself, but obviously I've put it up because it's an Anniversary Edition set, but yeah. So let's just get into the minifigs. I'm only going to show this one and then one of the Stormtroopers because there's no point in showing them all. So this is the 2009, I think it's pretty sure it's brand new for 2019. This is a Shadow Trooper. So... This is a remake of a 2008 battle pack, so 11 years ago, there's a different version. I don't know how I feel about this minifig, I had a stud sure, um, I'll shoot it at you, well at the camera. <laughs> yeah, but, I don't know. It is a cool minifig, although there's just something about Stormtroopers with all the printing that I am not for, but yeah. It's pretty much just a strong trooper, but in black has the same angry cone head for some reason. Yeah. Um. Next we just have you know a standard strong trooper. Now here's the interesting thing. I realised that both of them have the new helmet pieces. So the shadow trooper also got a new helmet update, and so do the strong trooper. So. I'll show you the inside of the helmet before I show you the minifig. So, as you can see, the helmet obviously is a lot different. I don't have a Stormtrooper, the old helmet, right? I do have, like, four or five of them. I just don't have them available to me at the moment. They're in a bag. <laughs> um, but, yeah, on Figure Friday, I'll probably compare the two, but you can definitely see a difference in the helmet. The rest of it, just a standard Stormtrooper with Stud Shooter. Now I'm just going to move all of them over there. Here is the probably the, one of the core spots of the set. The Han Solo reprint from 2000. So this minifig back in 2000 was exclusive to the Millennium Falcon, which was the original Millennium Falcon. And this minifig, I believe it goes for, I've seen it go for like £30 upwards on eBay. So this is probably the only version I'll we'll ever own. I'm, don't think I feel like putting down that kind of money, it's just sort of a hard pill to swallow, but yeah. So, I'll uh, show you the plaque first. The plaque, um, 20 years, 1999, 2009, hand solo. And that brick there, um, actually comes out. Well, I can't get it out. But basically, it's, you're supposed to leave one stud sticking out if you're buying, so you can connect them all if you're buying the other. 20th anniversary figs, I don't, I'm going to probably get the minifigs, but not the other sets, I don't know, but yeah, um, as you can see, it's like the original print, it's got the original head that he had in 2000, has one of those old style blasters, as all the minifigs do, the ones that don't have lightsabers anyway, has those old boil legs, um, looks like a normal hand solo from here, but this is a bit, I don't know how I feel about the being printed on the back, Obviously, it's so they're exclusive and you don't get them mixed up if you do have the original versions, but I don't know. It is quite cool, but a part of me is a, I don't know, is a little against it, but you know, that's just my opinion. So now, the dropship itself, so it's pretty much completely different from the original. So, as them um, up the cockpit here, you can um, put the Shadow Trooper in, his um, blaster can go here. Now, there is one feature on this set that I really don't like. 
but I'll get that to that at the end. Um, and as you can see, there's one grill point and two studs and a control panel. That is a sticker that goes on there. Got on that sticker, sticker, and sticker there. Um, not much detail here. Now these bits you can put the blasters on. So I'm just gonna cut the camera and put some stormtroopers on, because you know you guys don't want to see that. Right. So I have the stormtroopers on, and yeah, you can fit three of them, possibly four or five, but uh, you'd have to modify it, obviously. But here's the part I don't like: the 2008 version. Did come with three stormtroopers and a shadow trooper, and you could put three stormtroopers on the back, and there'd be room for a fourth minifig, a fourth stormtrooper, maybe Darth Vader or whoever, if you wanted to put an extra fig on the back. Whereas this one, well, unless you modify it, you're sort of stuck with them um, putting three on there, which I think is something that I don't like about this version. But, you know, and maybe could have done with some blue pieces here to cover the studs, I don't know, I'm just. I just have some opinions, but as you guys know who watch the channel, I am very opinionated on new sets. So these bits here do come out, and this bit here, the wings rotate up, somewhat of the old version. It slides off, it's on a pin sort of mechanism, and on the back you can see the pin here, and it just slides in. Folds back, and you can... Oh God. It never works when I'm reviewing things. Why? But yeah, so the box, um, let's see, I'm getting to that. And you can see the box, it has a 20th anniversary seal on it. It's Han Solo 2000, collectible minifigure, has a Disney logo, has the original logo from the um, 1999 sets, has the big stock. Now, there's a little dent in mine. Thank you very much, Argos. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like the strike going down, it's sort of like the Kenner toys from the 70s and 80s. And uh, Imperial Dropship, 25th Anniversary Edition, ages 6 and up. Oh yeah, because that's Han Solo, uh, a whole bunch of stuff about Special Anniversary Edition. The back shows you basically what I showed you. Um, so the mini collectible minifigs are, that's my watch keeping, Han Solo, Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker, Lando Calrissian, and Darth Vader, and that's the little stud bits extra that I'm talking about, whereas I put mine underneath, so I only have one of the minifigs at the moment. This is what I was talking about, this is the original 2008 version of the set, just there. But yeah, so now on the instructions, it's one of my favourite parts of the set. Okay, so there's instructions. So they're small, and as this thing, you know, you can scan it with your iPad or whatever. So, it gives you a whole bunch of information about when they started making the Lego Star Wars um, and then in the late 90s and talks about a Han Solo on the stand. And it gives you a bit of information about the original Han Solo minifigure, shows the other sets, the pod racer, the, the Kashyyyk set, I'm not sure what that's actually called. Um, Lando Calrissian with the snow speed up and Princess Whale with the Slave 1. And then it stops and then... Um, then at the back, it's got more stuff, it's got one of those battle sets. And other minifig, oh, another minifig from the wave. So, my final thoughts on the set. I um, definitely give this a 9 out of 10. Just for the fact that you can only fit three Stormtroopers on there unless you modify it. But everything else is quite good. I don't tend to give the modern sets such a high rating. So this is um, very different for me if you guys are regulars and you watch the channel or whatever. So yeah. I tend to give the older sets high rating, so that's just nostalgia. One thing that I would have liked to have seen in this wave, to be honest with you, is um, when this set originally came in 2008, the 2008 version, they made a Rebel Scout Speeder Battle Pack to go along with it. I would have liked to have seen that. Maybe with a sixth collectible minifigure, or maybe even just swap one of these out. Maybe don't do the pod racer or something. I don't know. Like, I would say give it to Prin Princess Leia one of those sets, but I really like the look of this wave one, so yeah, I don't know. Leave in this comments down below what minifigure they should have done, like if they were doing a sixth one and done it in another battle pack like that, because I think if they're going to remake battle packs, I think it could be really cool what they do with them, but yeah. 10 out of 10. Love the 20th anniversary hand solo thing. It's amazing. Most of my minifigs sit in bags, but this one sits up on my shelves with Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> yeah.
but it's a really cool set. I definitely recommend this one. It's the cheapest of the 20th anniversary sets. Obviously, the Slave one being the most expensive. And it goes this set, um, Pod Racer, the Kashyyyk set, Snow Speeder, the Enslave one, all five of them. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for videos. Next video will be Figure Friday, and it will be 2007 Battle Droid. Thanks for watching.